Bolin Blowouts, a look at two stocks. Whether it's in the form of great earnings or positions getting blown off the books, Brian Bolin gives you the lowdown on what happened. Welcome to another edition of Bolin's Blowouts. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zacks. I also run Home Run Investor, Stocks Under 10 Investor, and Technology Innovators. All three of those services you can get with my special picks. Now, normally here for Bolin's Blowouts, we talk about two stocks, one that uh, has a blowout earnings event and one that's getting blown off the books. We're going to do a little something special this time. We are going to take a look at one with a blowout earnings event, uh, but the next one is going to be a surprise, so stick around for that. All right, let's talk about the blowout earnings event, and it is Roku, R-O-K-U is the ticker. It's a Zacks rank number three. Uh, and you can see from this right here where the stock is up eight points, oh, 44 percent. I've seen it up even higher earlier today, uh, touching nearly 50 percent. So the company did beat last night, and uh, I think it was 10 cents better uh, than analysts expected. And uh, it was still a loss. But the guidance is what's really unbelievable here. I think from if you can read between the lines in the report uh, that there's going to be profitability coming sooner rather than later and that has got everyone wondering what's going on in the streaming services here is this thing already going to be, become profitable that's obviously ahead of expectations and that's going to drive a lot of interest in that name all right let's go on to what you've all been waiting for the next item and we're going to be talking about qualcomm you know qualcomm is a very interesting thing and this isn't an earnings event this is a company that uh, is involved in m a speculation so Broadcom, ticker AVGO, has been talking about buying this company. Uh, so let's talk about how this went and how potentially to trade this, or at least how I uh, view it. So if we take a look at uh, Qualcomm here, uh, it is a Zacks rank number three. That just means the earnings estimates haven't been moving up or down significantly lately. Uh, and we see you know, a, a C for value, C for growth, just kind of right in that middle here. But obviously, it is a deal stock. So I think the best way to explain this is to look at uh, a very recent chart here. Uh, so on Friday, we had the stock trading along here in the mid-50s here, 55 or so. And then all of a sudden, that spike in volume. And what happened here was a rumor. And you know, rumors are inherently different. You know, Some are, are fake, a lot of fake, and, and some are really dead on the money. When a rumor comes from the source of the Wall Street Journal or Dow Jones, these are established sources, uh, it's very likely that this is true and they're just floating this out there to test the market's initial reaction to see if it is a good idea or it is not. Uh, so that's the difference between this rumor and just something that you would see on Twitter or someplace else from some random stranger. Um, so it's a bona fide rumor if it comes from the Wall Street Journal and you haven't heard it before. So. The rumor is that Avago, or, or I'm sorry, Broadcom is looking to buy uh, Qualcomm here. Uh, and, and the rumored price is $70 a share. And the stock spikes and, and runs up to 65 and then trades back in in the 62 range. I think at that point, I was uh, on my Twitter account saying, I think this is a good idea to hold this over the weekend, mostly because of the idea that the Wall Street Journal doesn't give you rumors that they aren't backed up by true reporting. So uh, come Monday morning, we see that there was the deal announcement. Uh, uh, Broadcom does come in and say they're, they were willing to pay $70. And uh, that sends the stock higher. And it trades early to about 65 but then trails off. A, a lot of concern then about, you know, is Qualcomm going to even accept this deal? Uh, you know, haven't even acknowledged receipt of it or anything else. So uh, that was kind of the first step. So there's antitrust issues. There's all sorts of other issues out there saying that maybe the value is too small. So we see the stock basically trade off from 65 and head all the way back down low 62s. But since then, you know, you're expecting Qualcomm to come out and say it's just not enough or we don't think it's going it's to happen. But there is basically nothing. And the longer that there is silence from Qualcomm, the more there are the believers that this deal is going to get done. So that's what happens all day Tuesday. Fast forward to Wednesday, the stock is trading again back over 65 and basically expecting, are we going to see, you know, Qualcomm come out and say, you know, we're at least talking to them and negotiating, but still silence. And that has a lot of people wondering what's going on. 
by Wednesday, that's in more than enough time to have seen everything you want to see from this deal, from this proposed offer. Uh, and that's why it's trading lower again. Now, it's the expectation here is that in the next couple of days, you're going to have Qualcomm come out and say, you know, we're going to reject this unsolicited offer. The stock might trade back into the 62 range. Basically, they're positioning themselves for a higher offer, possibly 72. I think this where the deal gets done is probably 75. So this begs the question. Is there $10 of free money out there just to be had if I buy Qualcomm right now at about $65? Will I get $75? Will I get a free $10? You know, obviously the market is trading well in, well below that range, so it doesn't believe that that's going to happen. But I'll tell you what, if Qualcomm comes out and rejects the deal and the stock trades lower, I'm still a buyer because I think Broadcom has to go after this, this stock. I think it goes up to at least 72 in the next move higher as they try to get this deal done, 75 being the ultimate target price uh, for this deal. Well, that's it for this week's Boland's Blowouts. Be sure to find us back here at Zach's again later in the future.